Hi and welcome Scorpio, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot reading for March 2019. It is a general reading so take from what you will leave, what does not resonate, don't try and make it fit your circumstances if it doesn't apply. There'll always be something in here that resonates. And if you'd like a personal reading with me more attuned to your own energy, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. There is a coupon code running at the moment. You can get $10 off the 45 minute extended personal reading with me. It's uh, gonna pop up over here in a second. All you need to do is take that coupon code across to the booking form. It is case sensitive. Enter it when prompted to get your $10 off. Everything else you need to know is in the description box below, yeah? If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Uh, great to have you here. If you enjoy what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. A little bit about me, I'm not only intuitively read the tarot, I'm also a transformational coach in mind, body, soul balance and mindfulness practices, as well as an energy healer. I work with clients all around the world uh, using distance Reiki energy healing to uh, clear, balance, revitalize the chakras, the chi energy, heal the soul light, the inner child, release uh, in terms of the chakras from uh, stuck emotions, karmic stuff from the past so you can move forward. It's always a conscious choice, of course. And I can also read the Akashic Records, your soul light origin, as well as past lives, depending on uh, how blocked your chakras are. The reason I share this is I bring all of those skills, wisdom and experience to my readings, so they're a little bit different. So all I ask is you keep an open mind and open heart. Allow the guidance to flow through to you. Um, yeah, and take what resonates. And for those of you that regularly support my channel, you're absolutely rocking awesome. So appreciative of your support. All right, let's get started with your reading. So, got some lots of beautiful crystals sitting on the decks today. Called in my high spirit guides as well as any unconditionally loving beings of light and angels watching over you at this time to help with the guidance. So we're going to open your reading with the Crystal Spirit Oracle and let's see what comes out. Highest level of guidance for Scorpio at this time. So this reading applies from whenever you're watching it to the end of this month. Um, also, check out your uh, monthly one if you haven't already. Ah, you've pulled kyanite, intuition, and there's a little, there's a little crystal spirit right in the centre there. And uh, let's pull you up the guidance, Scorpio. Oh, open straight up to it, which means it's such an important message for you to hear. So uh, the ascended master for this is El Morea, and the uh, archangel is Archangel Metatron. The spirit of Kynite appears as a tall, thin figure with large dragonfly wings. He's got a mysterious energy and his pointed tail gives him the appearance of a nature spirit. He guards the portal to self-expression and intuition, opening up the inner pathway to transformation. The colours of this stone remind us of hidden treasure. Within its humble facade, it is a powerful and beautifully coloured stone. Kynite asks you these questions. How can I learn to trust my intuition? Is it really my intuition or my hopes and fears? When Kynite appears in your reading, it's time to see if you're acting from your intuition or you're projecting your hopes and fears. Kynite helps you see the truth of any situation so you can distinguish which one is operational. Kynite emits a high frequency so that only your highest intentions can manifest. It opens the way up to your transformation with compassion, leads to growth and self-expression. It helps build the bridges with integrity. I've got to say, Scorpio, I've been on, been on transformation for quite some time now. All right, there's a little practice here, a suggestion which says, for today, give yourself some time to practice your intuition. Stretch yourself a little, experiment and consciously use it and observe the results. And uh, there's a brief meditation here which says, Imagine yourself in a large maze with high hedges all around you, so you cannot see your way out. At first you feel fear and panic. Take some deep breaths and hold kyanite in your hand and trust yourself. If you come to a dead end, take some more breaths and go another way. Use your intuition, be bold. It's a warm sunny day and good for a stroll. You will get home before dark. So cool, I'm gonna say. All right, what we're going to do now is going to look at four key areas of your life in terms of anything you need to know, opportunities coming your way, challenges, 
things that might be unexpected, things you might need to work on in the next couple of weeks with the uh, Energy Oracle. Highest level guidance for uh, Scorpio at this time. Mm. You got the message to take some rest and rejuvenation. I'm pretty sure you got that for your monthly one as well in terms of guidance. All right, what else does Scorpio need to know? Off, oh, line out. Mm. Uh, you got your heart chakra out. Uh, Archangel Raphael. It can be related to healing the heart chakra. It can be trusting yourself in terms of what your, honestly, what your truths are in terms of your heart chakra and anything, whether it's career, life path or love. Hmm. Daughter values opening, which uh, pretends to your finances improving. All right, let's see what else you need to know. Mm. You've got a message to have a strategy. Often that's about how to draw that abundance to you. We'll see what else comes out. Got this gorgeous citrine abundance one sitting on the next deck. And I'm uh, going to pull you some clarifiers with the uh, goddess guidance deck. Okay, why is the uh, rest and rejuvenation here? What is it Scorpio needs to know? Mm. You got the message you've been doing way too much for other people, Green Tara. You need to start asking for help and delegating, uh, whether it's in the workplace or whether it's at home, in your relationships. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to do everything yourself. What else does Scorpio need to know here about rest and rejuvenation? Mm. Directly related to strategy and your. Uh, Daughter value is the Asura, blossoming abundance. This is to do with your ideas and your projects, yeah? It's an indication that you're just getting started to have patience with yourself and don't give up. You might need that time out just to recuperate. Oh, yeah. This is why the heart chakra's here too, yeah? Hell, divine passion. It's being totally honest with yourself about what's your heart's truest desires going after it. All right, let's have a look at the uh, heart chakra. Hmm. You got Kun Yin, compassion. It's about releasing and forgiving yourself for anything you've done in the past, forgiving others. Um, you don't know what they're going through. Seeing the light and love in everyone. All right, these two want to come out. Mm. You got the message to Freya be bold, take risks, be daring, go after what it is that you want, directly related to your heart's desires. Yeah, this is beautiful. Been worrying about your home situation, you pulled Vesta, which is confirmation that things are going to improve, either uh, a healthy change in occupants, either in or out of the home. It can mean that you're moving, you're relocating, buying or selling a home. All right, let's have a look at the door to value. Mm, got to say it's come out for a few signs. Some of you got divine gifts and talents in terms of your ancient wisdom that you can use in spiritual teaching. Dana, high priestess. Often goes hand in hand with um, healing energy as well. Let's we'll see what else comes out. Clearly not a path everyone wants to follow. Oh, yeah, I could have I could have written this here yeah, word for word right next to it. Ish your medicine woman. You have a channel for divine healing. Um, if that is you, connect into our Ascended Masters Global Lightworker Community Group. It's for people just like you who are either working in the field or want to. Um, it's free to join. I'll pop the information on this video in below, yeah? It's directly related to improving your finances. If that's a path you want to follow. Mm. And you got the message to tap into divinity, to create a sacred space at home. Um, to be honest with you, I'm surrounded by abalone shells, crystals, incense, candles. Love it. Um, it might be a place that you find quite spiritual that connects into divinity. It could be out in nature. It could be a spiritual place that you're going to. I'll put you one more there. Oh, wow. Not only have you got the door to value opening, you've got true love coming. You have had this coming for a while, Scorpio. If it's not in your life, it's on its way. Guinevere, universe trying to pour a great love onto you, send you a great love, be open to it. Might be why the heart chakra is here, is opening your heart up to love. All right, let's have a look at this strategy. Why do you need a strategy? Okay. 
So the message in terms of the strategy is about cleaning up your thoughts and your emotions as well as looking after your health and your well-being, your body. Yeah, Coventina, purification. How are you going to do that? I've got to say it's come out for just about every sign. I know what's going on in the universe at the moment. Sarasvati, the arts. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. Uh, that can be to do with your ideas and projects. It can just be something you want to do in your time off. Oh. You're on notice, Scorpio. If you've been asking for things to change in your life in a in ways in which you feel like you can't manage yourself, uh, universe has heard your prayers. They are being answered. Expect a miracle, Mother Mary. Um, if it's in relation to your home, overarchingly your home, your money, true love. Yeah, those three areas. Um, mm -hmm. You've got to match your vibration to that. Yeah, you've got to believe that it's possible for you. Otherwise, you block your flow. All right, let's put you some more clarifiers with the crystal reading deck, which is a healing deck. All right, let's have a look at rest and rejuvenation following your heart's desires. Let's three here. Mm. Directly related to your life purpose, Amazonite, getting really clear about what it is you want to do or you're going to have more clarity coming to you. You also get the message to listen to and trust your dreams, Herkimer Diamond, directly related to your life purpose. And um, Rose Quartz, your inner child, this is your creativity, your imagination, your ideas, listening to those, following those. It can also mean healing the inner child if you need to. All right, let's have a look at the heart chakra in your home. What is it Scorpio needs to know? Oh, double confirmation, you've got a soulmate coming. Or oh, they're in your life. Master teacher card in this deck about the soulmate. Wow. Can't be ignored, Scorpio. It's knocking on your door. Uh, Numite, healer. Okay, a couple of messages to this. This is the third confirmation. Some of you have got some divine gifts and talents in this area. The other message is that you might need to reach out to a healer of the ages, I'm going to say, which is natural therapies, energy healing, all that kind of stuff, to heal your heart chakra and your inner child so that you can accept this new love into your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might also be so that you can feel empowered enough to step into your path. What else does uh, Scorpio need to know here about the heart chakra? Soulmate, the home. Yeah. You need to step into your empowerment, Sunstone. It's the key to everything here is to step into your empowerment. All right, let's have a look at the, the daughter value, the high priestess. Oh, yeah. True love flew out. Take action. Labradorite. Take action towards your goals and dreams, what's most important to you. True love. What else does uh, Scorpio need to know? It's two here. Mm, here it is. Some of you, there needs to be some heart healing, DFTs. It's one of the heart chakras here. Yeah. And you've got to let go. You've got to let go of the past, kind of blue. Let go of anything you feel you've done, haven't done. You need to be give, forgive yourself for things you haven't done for other people that you feel guilty about. Um, if you've got any resentment, resentment, guilt that you're holding on to, shame, let it go. You're a true love trying to come into your life. Yeah. Got to take the time to do the heart healing. All right, let's have a look at your strategy over here, your miracle coming in. You need to purify your thoughts, your emotions, your body. Mm. You pulled aquamarine communication. I'm going to say possibly communication coming in related to your miracle. Um, it can also mean speaking your truth, what what's, holds value for you, standing up for yourself. Stepping into your empowerment, dare I say. Mm. Another message here to look after your body. A gate. Uh-huh. You're on notice, Scorpio. There's two more here. Mm. You also got the message to practice the art of gratitude for the things that are working well in your life and the relationships that you've got, particularly your friendships, I'm going to say. Um, you've also pulled petrified wood, your ancestors. They're supporting you at this time. Your spirit guides, your angels, people that have passed over that you connect with that are, um, you feel like are a spirit guide to you, yeah? I want to pull you one more there. Mm. 
Like obsidian and the shadow side, this is about looking at both sides of self, accepting the dark side of yourself, um, perhaps looking at your weaknesses and your strengths. Can you strengthen those weak areas um, so that you become more whole, into wholeness? Whatever area of your life that relates to, you've got here your finances, your heart chakra, in terms of love, your life purpose, um, your body, your health. All of those can have a dark side and a light side. Yeah, it's about facing it, being truthful with yourself. Mm hmm Underlying all that, it's about loving yourself more. All right. Let's pull you some from the Messenger Oracle. What is it Scorpio needs to know at this time? Mm. Yeah, change is coming. Change is unavoidable. Absolutely. You can't fight it. It's coming whether you like it or not. <laughs> Can either go go with the flow or go against it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You got the message to focus on what it is that you want and take action. Right through your reading. You can't sit there and just expect things to change without any input or effort on your own part. That's just playing the victim in your own life, yeah? You've got to step into your empowerment if you want things to change. Yeah, this is super important. You've got to be without malice. You've got to let go of resentment against other people. You've got to act with kindness and compassion in your communication, yeah? Even if people have wronged you, you just got to let it go. Walk away from it. Let it go. Release it. Forgive others. That's just releasing their energy from you, yeah? Yeah. And ground your energy. Take that time for rest, rejuvenation. Connect with Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Music, meditation, creative pursuits. They're all going to ground your energy. you got so much good stuff coming. All right, let's pull your crowning energy, Scorpio, from the uh, Kunyin Oracle, uh, which is by Alana Fairchild, by the way. And uh, let's see what comes out for you. Oh, so many cards are jumping. Oh, wow. You've pulled the Blossoms of the Sky Dancer. Beautiful illustrations on these cards. Number three, by the way, which is all about your ideas and your projects, learning or teaching. That's in the Lightworker Oracle in terms of numbers and sequences. All right, it says Scorpio, Kun Yin dances creative energy and light across the sky, causing blossoms to descend. In the same way, when we tap into our spiritual power of creation, we cause our life and all of our life around us to bloom. Creation is a natural spiritual power within you, beloved. Force can slow down the process. It's time to stop striving and to allow your manifestation to occur. Trust, let go, and allow your creation to flow. Kun Yin is a being of divine feminine power. She dances with the sky, the heavenly powers of inspiration. And as a result, life blooms around her. Kun Yin brings you guidance that you are creating something important right now. Something that's aligned with heavenly forces and light that is significant for the path of spiritual awakening on this planet. Whether you're fully conscious of it or not, it's happening. Your spiritual light is flowing into the physical plane with the intention to manifest certain life situations and circumstances. These manifestations are in accordance with your spiritual path and Kun Yin will support you in their manifestation with her sky dance, which calls the divine light of inspiration and support into earthly creation so that we can experience the divine in form here on earth. The way of the sky dancer Kun Yin or the Yin way is that of divine magnetism. Yin power is the consciousness and beingness that allows us to draw into our lives that which we desire. We become attractive to it, like wealth, well-being, peace, passion, purpose, friendship, support, success, and so on. Rather than going out and striving for it, as though we do not have it within us already, we can grow in our ability to simply be and become simultaneously until we experience it physically in our lives only a matter of time before it happens. To cultivate yin power, to allow creation to manifest in your physical reality, you can focus more on allowing, flowing, surrendering and participating in the greater flow rather than in the usual Western ways 
of doing, making things happen, forcing, intending and holding. Kun Yin guides you now to balance doing with being. Beingness is presence, it is appreciation, it is joyful stillness and wonder. It is the realisation within you that you are a spiritual magnet and whatever you want to attract you can simply by cultivating the qualities you seek to experience externally within you. She guides you to sky dance with her now, to become receptive to heavenly energies and to allow manifestation to blossom like flowers falling from her divine feet. How beautiful. All right. There's a healing ritual here which says, Perceive yourself in a vast, peaceful, dark space that feels simultaneously full and empty. The space holds you yet does not confine you in any way. And as you imagine this dark space supporting you like a cosmic cradle, gently say aloud, I now call upon the yin potency of Kun Yin to help me let go of the need to force, to struggle and to believe that I must make things happen of my own accord, that I must be in control for my creation to manifest. Help me trust the universe, to trust my own soul, to trust in the inherent goodness of life and the responsiveness of the cosmos and my own value. Please help me, beloved, that my creation may occur swiftly and gracefully with beauty and divine perfection. Imagine that within this darkness you sense a light weaving gracefully, endless blossoms of light following in its trail. Allow yourself to join with that light, becoming aware that it is the beautiful sky dance that Kun Yin. If you wish, join her in the dance, feeling the heavenly light of creation flowing all around you both now, as a beautiful open blue sky, streaming with sunlight. Feel the joyous blossoms flow from Kun Yin's aura and swirl all around you both in spirals. Be in your heart and when you're ready, just open your eyes. And... Uh, there's an affirmation here which says, Beloved Kun Yin, sky dancer, blossoming with creation, I am one with the power of the Divine Feminine. I am one with peace, with creation, that will manifest. I am love, I am surrendering, I am yin, I am blessed. I let go to receive, I let go to flow. Peace is in my heart and it now fertilizes my creation to grow. I'm Manny Padme Hum. So beautiful. So much good stuff here too yeah all right scorpio if you enjoyed this reading please like share comment subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, i do read all the comments and do respond might take me a little while so just be patient yeah uh don't forget grab your coupon code if you want to get ten dollars off the 45 minute extended personal reading with me links on this video as well as in the description box below if you want to win a personal reading head over to the home page on my website i'll pop the link on here and uh, go check that out it's drawn once a month yeah at the end of every month or beginning of the next month yeah mm -hmm. and for now much love much light namaste